Hey, it's Phil Simon, author of Slack for Dummies with another tip. Today, I want to talk about private channels, private ways of having conversations with people. How do you keep people out? I'm in Slack right now. This is the accounting channel. It is public. How do I know? Because there's no lock on it. This accounting ah, announcements channel is private because there's a lock. The accounting channel is public. Because of that, anybody in my workspace, except for single channel guests, can join. Let's take a look at Lydia. I'm Lydia right now. Got a full head of flowing brunette hair. And she goes to the channel browser and she sees public channels right here. She joins the channel. Right now she can post in that channel. Hello. Here's a problem. I don't want Lydia in accounting. So could I kick her out? I could. If I go back here to accounting. Right? Lydia's here. I'm going to remove her from accounting. But that is a stopgap. I can't stop her from coming back in. It's a public channel. Anyone can join. Anyone. What do I do? Here's what I do. I go to accounting. I click on additional options. And now I go to change to private channel. Slack warns me. You can't undo this. Right here. I'm going to change it to private. I'm positive. Boom. Now it is private. How do I know? Accounting, see this? Right here. It's locked. Private. So can Lydia join this channel? Short answer is not exactly. If I go here to channel browser, where's accounting? It's not here. Gone. Now, does that mean she can't join at all? No. I could invite her. Click here. Add to accounting. I could find Lydia. Hello, Lydia. And if I invite her, hit add, she'll join. Point is, if it's a public channel, anybody in your workspace except for a single channel guest can join. Otherwise, you need to make it a private channel. Still with me? Rush Vapor Trails. Let's go.